So the new guard Cadia Stands box set is going up for pre-order this weekend. It's $200, £120 or £155. Euros. In Games Workshop terms, let's talk about whether or not that's a good deal. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're focusing on the new guard box set. Quite an exciting release for Astra Militarum players, particularly Cadian ones. No, perhaps just as much because you can actually get your hands on the new rulebook for the first time in this but the entire box set being made up of new miniatures isn't the worst thing either. We've talked about the contents of this Cadia Stands box set on the channel quite a bit now, it looks like it's going up for pre-order on Saturday the 12th, so this Saturday, and then Games Workshop seems to have given it a slightly extended pre-order window for some reason, going all the way out to November the 25th, Black Friday, where the pre-orders get honoured, and it also goes up for general sale at £120, $200 or €155. Euros. That price puts it fairly similar to the Votan box, and at least on the spectrum of Games Workshop launch box releases, it really isn't all that bad to be honest. Obviously it's an awful lot of money to be spending on model soldiers in general, but that's kind of Warhammer in a nutshell. At least by Games Workshop's terms, it is a little bit cheaper than some of the other launch boxes, particularly that recent Chaos Knights one, which was kind of eye-wateringly expensive compared with recent offerings. In the context of inflation being fairly rampant these days, I honestly wouldn't have been surprised to see Games Workshop raise the price a little bit, Maybe they're just a bit mindful of trying to keep their prices a little bit more in line with what customers can afford when everyone's got a bit less money going around. I thought we'd just take a very quick look through the various contents of the box set and then talk about a few numbers at the end and the value it might have to new or returning players. First up, of course, we've got the guard codex itself. As a guard player myself, it's probably the bit that I'm most interested in alongside those field ordnance batteries. A new book to finally get the Astra Militar and their rules for 9th edition. What looks like a fairly substantial power boost compared with the meagre pickings that the faction has right now. And a bunch of new units. Perhaps not all good news with a bunch of things apparently being cut. But in any case, it's going to be good fun to actually pour through it and put together the combos once we do get the rules in full. This one's got a limited edition cover with Lord Solar Leontis on it. I would guess that the main guard codex is just going to have something a bit more standard and guardy on the front. I think it's at least possible it could be the artwork from the Cadia Stands box itself. If you do want the book, but not necessarily the miniatures, I'd imagine that these will be going fairly cheap on eBay for a bit. I can imagine a few people might be buying the box set in multiples to get their hands on lots of ordnance, batteries and sentinels and things, so you might be able to snag the book at a bit of a discount there. The codex should be £32.50 or $55 from Games Workshop. Then we've got the data cards, useful for stratagems, orders and psychic powers and things. 63 data cards in total apparently. I do think that they charge far too much for these for basically bits of paper, but they are handy to have in game, can help for quick reference. Next up we have the miniatures themselves, the new resculpted Cadian shock troops you get 20 of, two squads, and likely to be somewhere around the £65 mark or $120. I'd imagine they're somewhere going to be comparable with a traitor guardsman, death corps, or something like the orc boys or beast snaggers. If you're collecting Cadians, then they're going to be the battle line of most armies. If you've already got enough infantry though, then it's maybe not the biggest deal in the world to pick these up, though I do think that the new resculpts of them do look pretty nice. Rules wise, it looks like Cadian shock troops are going to be quite an interesting one. According to the league, similar cost to the standard troops choice, but with two special weapons and no heavy. Games Workshop did confirm that their last weapons get extra hits on sixes, so that's quite a solid buff to the rank and file as well. Overall, it looks like Cadian shock troops, the datasheet, could well be one of the strongest troops choices, at least by what we know so far. Moving on, we've got the Cadian Command Squad, probably £30 or $50 from Games Workshop, judging by the Dark Commune, which seems like the Chaos equivalent. I'd say that these aren't a million miles away from the previous version of the Command Squad that we have. Still though, a nice flexible kit, and it's probably going to have more parts than the previous one did. Quite nice to have a bit more customization on the officer. In game, these guys are all going to be fielded as one squad now, 80 points according to the leaks, and the entire squad gets character protection, so it doesn't get directly shot off the board by the enemy like they do now. The veterans have now gone to Ballistic Skill 4+, plus, and they get a single splashy order that can hit multiple squads, but included in the price they do get all their specialist kit for free, all the special weapons if you want them, a master box to cast orders to 24 inches, a regimental standard for a reroll wound rolls of 1 aura for core things, and the medic gives the squad a 5 plus fail no pain, and a keyword for a stratagem. Apparently there's going to be a couple of different data sheets in the codex for a standard command squad and a Cadian one. It'll be interesting to see what the differences are between the two. Next up we've got these fun big field ordnance batteries. It looks like you get two of these in the box, and I suspect that that will be how they're packaged finally now. Really quite unsure as to the pricing of these guys, 
maybe somewhere around the £30, $50 type mark again, though it could perhaps be a little bit more than that. These things look fun, and I think a fair few people are keen to have some, basically heavy weapon teams but bigger and badder, with some very heavy firepower. Games Workshop have confirmed the rules for these ones, with the Bombast Field Gun, Heavy Las Cannon, and Malleus Rocket Launcher. The Las Cannon's pretty interesting, with two shots at a massive Strength 10, AP 4, and Damage D3 plus 3. The Bombast Gun is Ignore's Line of Sight with Strength 7 and Damage 2. And the Malleus Rocket Launcher is a whole bunch of shots at Strength 6, AP 1, and Damage 1, and probably seems like the most underwhelming of the three, in my opinion. According to Mordian Glory's leaks, they'll be hitting on 4s, have Toughness 4, 6 wounds, and a 4 plus save. And they do have the platoon keyword apparently, so that should allow them to take orders such as the rumoured take aim for plus one to hit and extra AP. From these stats alone, I'm not 100% convinced that they're going to be a massive staple in competitive play. For 70 points, maybe they're just a little bit on the fragile side to take out, but it'll be fun to see how they stack up, and just having a couple for a rule of call purposes is pretty cool in itself. The Sentinel, I'm guessing, will be sold separately at around about £32.50 or $55. That's based on the Achilles Ridge Runner from the Gene Stealer Colts, which seems kind of equivalent. The model in the box does build the Scout and Armoured Sentinel variants, so you could magnetise a bit for the different weapons and things. And it does look like it's a little bit bigger than the last at least, and perhaps it's a little bit more technologically advanced looking than the previous one. Games Workshop confirmed some of the leaks, particularly the Scout Sentinel profile. It moves a bit faster at 12 inches now and gets a little bit tougher with an extra wound and toughness. Overall, it really looks like a solid walker still for 45 points. Supposedly, the guns are still free. The forward deployment rule has changed to actually just setting up in the midfield, which is quite nice for screening out the enemy, to be fair. The multi-laser gains a shot and extra AP, and the Sentinel Chainsword actually looks half decent in melee. Otherwise, there's the armoured one as well. An extra 5 points to gain a 3 plus save. Armoured Hull gives it a better save against damage 1 weapons, so realistically you're not normally going to be killing it with those. And apparently Sentinels both have the core and platoon keywords. It sounds like you might well be able to issue them orders and give them rerolls and things, though I'd still guess it's not going to add up to them being great damage dealers. I would certainly hope that they might have fixed the plasma cannon on the armoured Sentinel so it doesn't just auto-kill the model anymore. That was a bit of a gripe about the previous one. Putting that all together, there's a few different ways that you can look at it, I think. It looks like in terms of predicted points, it will be around about 400 points in the box. It's not a particularly impressive amount for a launch box, to be honest. Though I have a feeling that this says more about guard as a whole, as opposed to this particular launch box. They just do have an awful lot of cheap infantry and light vehicles. Doing a little bit of math hammer at $200, it looks like the codex represents around about 24% of the value along with the data cards, meaning that in theory $152 comes from the models compared with the books, so it makes it roughly a 2.6 point per dollar ratio, which is actually kind of middling by Games Workshop standards and really not that great for a big value box set like this. You do get a fair amount of fun and recent sculpts of plastic miniatures from it, but the force it gives you in terms of in-game points is kind of small, I think. Based on estimated prices, it does look like if Games Workshop sold these models separately, it'd be somewhere around the £210 or $360 mark, so at least theoretically compared with buying them separately, you'd be saving around about 43% on the total value if you wanted literally everything in this box. Obviously that's a fairly rough estimate, but in general that looks like it's in a fairly good territory as far as Games Workshop's concerned. Typically their combat patrol box sets tend to be in the 30-40% to 40 kind of range, so this one does look like it's a little bit better than average in terms of savings compared with buying separately. Model wise, it's really quite cool that all the contents are new. Even if the field ordnance batteries are the only new unit, then everything else is at least a very recent re-sculpt, and the models do look like they're quite good quality. If you're a new collector, it seems a pretty reasonable way to jump into the guard, gets you a decent contingent of infantry and a command squad to lead them, plus some heavy guns and a scout walker. I feel like at least in most games, you're probably going to be wanting a good chunk of infantry and likely some sentinels to screen out the enemy. The rest might be a bit take or leave depending on how good other choices are. For returning players, I maybe feel that the box set just has perhaps a little bit less value. If you've already got a command squad or two, plus plenty of infantry, then both the command squads and the infantry just aren't really going to help all that much, unless you really do like the new sculpt so much that you want to start replacing things. For myself, I think perhaps the field ordnance batteries are perhaps the pick of the box miniature-wise, as we've not had those before, and it's quite cool to add a whole new unit to your army, and one that fits in with the theme pretty well in my opinion. I think I will be trying to pick up one of these boxes for myself, I'll be keeping the Ordnance Batteries, the Sentinel and the Codex for definite, 
I'm not sure whether or not I'd keep or resell the infantry and command squad though. Realistically, I've got a whole ton of infantry with last guns already, and I'm not sure I necessarily need more of them, plus multiple copies of the various command squad bits, so again, perhaps just a little bit lower value there. I'll be interested to hear your guys' takes on this though. Is the Kadia Stands box set worth it or not? And would you be looking to pick one up when they go up for pre-order? Finally, while we're talking about this box for potentially one last time on the channel, I thought I'd just briefly mention once more the fact that I'm giving away four of them on the channel at the start of December, so that could potentially be one way to get your hands on them, at least for a few people out there. As normal with these Allspets Tactics prize giveaways, there's two equal ways to enter, and they're linked down in the video description. You can either support the channel on Patreon for any amount, it is what allows me to keep these videos coming, and any support is enormously appreciated on that front. Otherwise, you can also support the channel on social media as the other option, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and then to actually enter the draw for it, there's a comment that appears on the Facebook page on the 1st of December, reply to that with a picture of any 40k miniature, along with your name and the date handwritten within the photo, the last bit just to stop people with fake accounts spamming. Then, with all the entries collected, I put all the Patreon entries and the Facebook entries all into a random number generator, select the four winners, and they'll be announced on the channel update video on the 4th of the month. Depending on how long shipping takes, it might be a day or two until I can dispatch these, but with them coming out on Black Friday, hopefully there shouldn't be too much of that. I'll be aiming to keep the regular giveaways like this coming just about every month as well, so feel free to check out the Patreon or the Facebook down in the video description if that is of interest. So anyway, let me know what you make of the box set then, and whether or not it's good value. I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos, really looking forward to going through the Astra Militarum Codex in full once we get it, it's going to be fun to put some guard back on the table once more. A massive thank you to all of you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.